Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to see the three transitions which are found in the unharmonic oscillator. So, unharmonic oscillator is the oscillator which does not obey the rules of simple harmonic oscillator. And when we are applying either stretching or the compression to the bond, it will undergo the dissociation and the molecule will get splitted or dissociated into the atoms. So, we have to see one example HCl. So, when we take the HCl molecule and we will apply the stretching to the bond between H and Cl atom. At one point, the bond between H and Cl atom will get break. So, we will get a dissociated atoms H and Cl separately. The bond between these two atoms get dissociated. So, we can find out the dissociation energy in the unharmonic oscillator. So, in the unharmonic oscillator, there are three kinds of transitions we will observe. First is a fundamental absorption. Second is a first overtone. Third is a second overtone. So, we will see what are those. So, see this diagram. On the y-axis, there is energy and on the x-axis, internuclear distance is there. And this figure is of a, the vibrational energy levels and some transitions between them for a diatomic molecule which obeys the rules of a and harmonic oscillator. So, see here, this is a parabola. Okay, but if we can draw the parabola like this, this will be a perfect parabola. But for the unharmonic oscillator, we did not get the perfect parabola due to the dissociation of the atoms into molecule get dissociated into the atoms. So, we will calculate the dissociation energy and that will be the D0 from the ground state and from the equilibrium it is the d eq so this curve is called as a morse potential curve and we can calculate the energy of the dissociation by using this so we will see here three kinds of transitions are shown first transition is from 0 to 1 energy level here v is the vibrational quantum number and v is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8, 9 and so on and the unharmonic oscillator which obeys the selection rule delta v is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and plus minus 3. So according to that here transitions are shown first transition is from 0 to 1 next transition is from 0 to 2 and next transition is from 0 to 3. So here we will observe that all the transition occurs from the ground state and difference between this transition is going to increase. It is plus 1, plus 2 and plus 3. And the equilibrium internuclear distance is constant. So, we will get the change in energy that is a delta E which is equal to the oscillation frequency. So, that oscillation frequency at equilibrium that was given by symbol omega bar E. So, for first excitation, that energy difference we will observe, it is omega bar E. Then for the next transition, it will be twice omega bar E. And for the next transition, it will be nearly equal to thrice omega bar E. So, that will be given in the per centimeter. So, we will see the transition, the first omega bar E called as a fundamental absorption. Twice omega bar E is called as a first overtone. And thrice omega bar is called as a second overtone. So, I have written here the unharmonic oscillator which shows the three kinds of transitions. First is a fundamental absorption. Next is a fundamental overtone. And last is a second overtone. After that, we will observe the some transitions. But the population is very less and it is negligible as compared to the ground states first second and third excited state so we have to see one example and how the fundamental absorption first overtone and the second overtone values can be calculated so i have written one problem here 
spectrum of hcl shows a very intense absorption at 2886 per centimeter and a weaker one is at 5668 per centimeter and a very weak one at 8347 per centimeter find out omega bar e that is a oscillation frequency and the unhomogeneity constant that is xc so again we have to calculate the force constant for the scl so see what are the things which are given so most intense line so we know the population is at the ground state is maximum and the transition which occurs from ground state to first excited state it is of a higher intensity because of the more population so its absorption value is given to 886 per centimeter then the weaker absorption is observed at 5668 per centimeter and the much weak absorption will found at 8347 per centimeter and from this data we have to find out the omega bar e value and the unhomogeneity constant that is x value then lastly we have to calculate the force constant for the scl molecule so we will see how the omega bar e and x value can be calculated and after that we have to calculate k so see i have written here answer if we wish to find the equilibrium frequency of the molecule from this data so we have to find out omega bar e that will be equilibrium frequency or the oscillation frequency and we have to write three equations here first equation for the fundamental absorption and that equation is omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice xc so in the last video we have seen how this three equations came you can refer the video for the unharmonic oscillator so omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice xc is equal to we are going to write the first value which is given of a higher intensity and that value is 2886 per centimeter and write the equation number is 1 then we have to write the value of delta e that is for the first overtone and the second transition that value is twice omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice xc which equal to 5668 per centimeter give the number that equation 2 and lastly we are going to write the equation of delta e for the second overtone and that equation will be thrice omega bar e in a bracket 1 minus 4 xc which is equal to 8347 per centimeter so this is our equation number 3 now we have written the given things now we have to find out omega bar e and the xc so we have to multiply equation 1 by 2 so we have the equation 1 this equation so we have to multiply both sides of this equation by 2 so just multiply the equation with value 2 so we will get twice omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice x which is equal to 2886 into 2 per centimeter so i have written this equation as here first equation into 2 so we will get the equation number 4 just after multiplying this equation 1 by 2 we will write the equation and this equation is equation 4 so just multiply this equation by 2 and write the equation here so twice omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice xc which is equal to 2886 into 2 value will be 5772 per centimeter now we have the equations 4 1 2 3 and 4 so just subtract equation number 2 from equation number 4 so this is our equation number 4 which is obtained by multiplying just 2 to the equation number 1 so write this equation first equation 4 is written as it is here minus equation number 2 so see what is equation number 2 it is twice omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice xc which is equal to 5668 per centimeter so i have written this equations here so equation 4 and equation 2 now we have to subtract this two so after subtracting so just multiply this part in inside twice omega bar e minus 4 omega bar e x is this is our equation number 4 and here twice omega bar e here minus 2 into 3 it will be 6 omega bar e x 
So I have written this equation after multiplying in the brackets. So equation 4 become 2 omega bar e minus 4 omega bar e x a which is equal to 5772 per centimeter minus equation number 2 is twice omega bar e minus 6 omega bar e x a which is equal to 5668 per centimeter. So after subtracting we will get the value twice omega bar e x c is equal to 104 because these two terms get cancelled and minus 4 omega bar e x c and minus minus this will become positive so it is plus 6 omega bar e x c so when we subtract this we will get twice omega bar e x c and after subtracting this we will get 104 so now this is our equation number 5 now we have to find out omega bar e and x c till now we did not get the value of omega bar e and x c now we have the value twice omega bar e x c so just put this equation phi in equation 1 so our equation 1 is here omega bar e in bracket 1 minus twice x c which is equal to 2886 per centimeter so just multiply by omega e omega bar e in bracket so we will get this equation omega bar e minus twice omega bar e x c which is equal to 2886 per centimeter so this is our equation 1 so now we have to put this value in equation number 1 in this place so the equation will be omega bar e minus 104 which is equal to 2886 per centimeter so just transfer this minus 104 to the right side it will become positive so omega bar e is equal to 2886 plus 104 value will be 2990 per centimeter so this is our equation number 6 now we got only value of the equilibrium frequency of the unharmonic oscillator now we have to find out the unharmonicity constant that is xc so now we are going to put this equation 6 in equation 1 again so our equation 1 is this we have just multiply omega bar e in this bracket and we got this equation so we have this omega bar e value so just put omega bar e value in this equation where omega bar e is so here is omega bar e and here is omega bar e so just write here omega bar e values so after writing this and I have written again this equation here same equation from here I have written here and put the values of the omega bar e so 2990 is the value of omega bar e minus twice omega bar e xc so just put again value of omega bar e here it is 2990 into xc which is equal to right side as it is 2886 per centimeter so now just transfer this term to the right side and divide this right side with this part you will get the x value so see i have rearranged equation here after multiplying 2 into 2990 the value will be minus 5980 xc which is equal to 2886 minus 2990 it will be minus 104 so here both side contains negative charge and that's why it will get cancelled and just transfer this 5980 to the right side and find out the value 104 divided by 5980 so its value will come xc is equal to 0 0.0173 so now we got the value of the unharmonicity constant that is xc so students what we have find till now we found the value of the equilibrium frequency that is omega bar e of a unharmonic oscillator and now we find out the xc that is unharmonicity constant now lastly we have to find out the force constant for the scl so before calculating the force constant we have to write its equation k is equal to 4 pi square omega bar e square c square mu so what are the terms included in this k so k is force constant pi is again constant omega bar e is the equilibrium frequency which we have calculated this is velocity of light in centimeter per second and mu is a reduced mass so initially we have to calculate reduced mass and then we have to find out the force constant 
So reduced mass of HCl which is equal to M1 M2 divided by M1 plus M2 and we have to convert this mass into kg that's why I have multiplied the term by 10 raised to minus 3 and divided by Avogadro's number is there. It is 6.023 into 10 raised to plus 23. So just put masses of H and Cl in, in the place of M1 and M2. So I have taken the mass of hydrogen is 1 and the mass of chlorine is 35.5 and written all the values. So finally I will get the value of mu which is equal to 1.614 into 10 raised to minus 27 kilograms. So lastly I have written all the values in the force constant equation and that values are 4 into 3.14 bracket square into 2990 bracket square into 3 into 10 raised to 10 into the mu value 1.614 into 10 raised to minus 27. After calculating on this calci you will get the value k is equal to 512 newton per meter. So this is the value of the force constant and unit of the force constant is newton per meter. So by this way you have to calculate the value of omega bar e x c and the force constant capital K.